Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's really. disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, terrible. Like a terrible, <laughs> terrible strategy. strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. To you, I say welcome to The Advocate. And to myself, I say welcome back. It's good to be back. Today, I get to carry the torch on the first lap, and I'm directing my advocacy at the looming PNID debacle. Chukem had actually be set to unveil a discovery that seems to be deluding a lot of us when he speaks of the real solution to our real problem. A Kenya will be hitting the bullseye by taking the xenophobic attack in South Africa with a call to action. Emeka doesn't plan to lower the temple. He points to tradition and religion as being the root of our underdevelopment. I wonder who will agree with him. Wait and see as we hit the tracks after the break. The recent clampdown of over 70 Nigerians on the claim of their involvement in fraudulent activities totaling millions of dollars, particularly in the U.S., has provoked several reactions back home. Ethnic and other sentiments were act. Barely a month after, judgment was given in favor of a barely known company against Nigeria in the sum of over $9.6 billion. An unpatriotic and most likely corruption-driven agreement was signed in 2010, binding the country to a largely defective contract for 20 years by an agency of government that had no powers to do so. The contract was not vetted or approved by the Minister of Justice at the time, whose office ordinarily should have done so. How does a sovereign country sign an agreement with a private company and agree that arbitration in the event of a dispute would be in the company's home country? <laughs> it highlights the lack of transparency in the way deals and agreements are entered on behalf of all of us. It also brings into stark relief the impunity and lack of consequences for wrongdoing in Nigeria. We just do not punish failure to act in the best interest of the country. Now, for whatever reason, and I suspect it to be designed ab initio, the contract failed. So Nigeria did not build a gas plant, which was supposed to bring gas to the location of the plant in Cross Rivers. I still have not heard a plausible reason for this, except that the economy could not make it feasible to build one. It should be noted that P and ID never built the proposed gas plant. They claim to have invested $40 million on equipment and foreign direct investment in the country. In fact, P and ID have invested nothing in this camp beyond that it cost them to come to Nigeria to sign this bogus contract. No money, no equipment, no plant, nothing. They just want to walk away with $9.6 billion. This is almost 20% of our foreign reserves. Finally, let the government sound it loud and clear to the international community that we will not pay anybody $9.6 billion. We will obviously have to pay something for the corruption ineptitude in our own, of our own people. It should, however, not be, never be anything near the amount in dispute, with almost half of it going to end up in the British Treasury as taxes. Any government that pays that kind of money out in a situation like this will greatly increase the poverty and suffering, suffering of its people that are already heavily burdened and runs the risk of begin, uh, putting a big question on its own legitimacy. Well, my, my take is that, uh, as you said, um, it appears to me, and given my own little experience, my sojourn in government, that the whole thing was, as you said, designed to fail. Absolutely. It, it looked to me like it was, this was really a scam of some yeah. sort. Um, I've read, I saw reports just two days ago, published in, a, in an international magazine. Um, the British journalist dug in and they found that this same person, the man behind P&D, yeah, yeah, had a history of scams mm, all across Europe and in, in, mm -hmm. in, 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 in Africa. So yeah. 
um, and this is part of their playbook. Um, it's I'm not. But sorry, when you say it was designed to fail on both sides, because oh, I, I can understand I, I, why I, I Mark Queen uh, okay. wanted yeah, to fail. I'm, I'm not ah, saying okay. that um, the the Nigerian side or whoever the, the you know knew it was going to fail, mm. but there's this this thing we have, this mindset we have in, 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 in with, within public officials that there's no sense of rigor. Okay. Um, we're always quick to anything coming from a white person, a foreigner, we're quick to, yes, 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 it's bright. I've seen so many, mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I, I don't want to mention names, but I've seen a similar contract in my own neck of the woods, in my mm -hmm. own sector, where a certain government was supposed to give us almost half a billion um, as a loan to their own company that was in Nigeria mm. to do something for the benefit of Nigeria. And mm -hmm. all the equipment would come from their own country. And as, as, a, as, a, as a direct general of a regulatory agency, I said, absolutely not. And I, and I said, no. Meanwhile, they had gone and gotten approval from Federal Executive so Council. So you went for you. So, but now they needed recertification. And I said, absolutely not. And it cost a big ruckus. But the, my point is that we need to, we, we, we have this system in place where government officials do not do the necessary due, due diligence, diligence right. and for fall into the trap of this band of mercenary uh, briefcase carrying contractors that come from Europe, especially, you know, I, I hate to say it, from the UK, from who the just, UK, yeah, yeah um, they know the system. They've, they've, they've had these decades of dealing with, with us, mm. and they're just briefcase carrying um, charlatans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. what you're saying, really, because I, when he was talking, I'm like, the signposts were there. Right. And so for people not to have seen it, even till now, you sort of ask, and I, someone close to me was asking, are you saying that this, there wasn't enough for a lawyer or anybody we uh, give the, the, the brief to go and make a strong case in our also, favor? It's but, also but, complacency. But, but, he's, yeah, no, so but they, I'm trying to bring in an argument as yeah. well to say that people are deliberately not doing what they ought to because they have self-interest. Interest, so yes, the briefcase the carrying people yeah. are, are giving them some incentive yes. to look away yes. and they're happy Absolutely. to enrich themselves at the expense of the national yeah. coffer. So I feel that this case we need to make an example and the reason why till today maybe people are still hesitant to open, blow it wide open is because the implications will meet them some very heavy so maybe this cabal we keep hearing about in the shadows involved. might yeah. finally come yeah. out and of let, the shadows let, let, and let you know yeah. who they are. Yeah. Yeah. And let it happen yeah. because yeah. I think that, you know, I mean, Sometimes bad things happen so that we learn lessons yeah. and we get better for it. Yeah. And so maybe this is the perfect example of how we move on, how we stop this kind of stupidity in, in, in governance. Because mm -hmm. I also think that, and let me say yes, two things have happened here. You had the initial scam, an initial right. complacency right. of the government agency involved to do right. the right thing. Right. But you also have the complacency of the successive administration, especially to this one, to, to deal when this with case it went to court to deal with it aggressively. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. To, present to, to all the present evidence, all yes. the evidence they had all and the deal weapons. with it aggressively. And even now, are they dealing with and it even aggressively now, enough, enough? Look, there's nothing that says, yeah. it's just that you know, we've, we've put ourselves in a catch-22 situation. We can also, the government of Nigeria can also sue the same company for fraud. Exactly. For fraud. Yeah, for fraud yeah. And the principles involved, we have our own court system. Let's not always demur to uh, foreign courts as if yeah. they have superior knowledge yeah. or, or yeah. they don't even have a sense of national interest yeah. from their perspective. Yeah. Yes, because you mentioned yeah. the tax yes. that yeah. they yeah. stand Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think in the end, this thing was designed to fail from both sides. This is a big scam. It's not just the white man. It's also us. Whoever was on our side was a scammer as well. Okay. And um, it's a big thing. Uh, you know, this sort of figures, somebody is somewhere hoping it all goes through. Nigeria pays. He's Nigerian, by the way, or they are Nigerian, this group. Oh. And they are waiting for their pay. A lot of the acts from their own country. to yeah. be found by yes. way. Yeah. They are waiting for payday from their own country. <laughs> as part of this sort of thing. Kind of so it's, it's, it's an amazing country. And they don't able. mind that one-fifth of our foreign reserves no. sinks I, into I, I, think, I mean, they won't get one-fifth, No, you see, you see even the, 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 the PID people are saying, oh, yeah. but uh, you, we're, we're, still, we're still open to negotiation. Yeah, so you right. see, that's part of the scam. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Maybe Stop government has offered them 600 the million. So the question we're not asking now is PNID They've, they've not, there's absolutely nothing on ground. No yeah. plant, mm -hmm. yeah. no nothing. Yeah. So what justifications they have to claim, to make all those claims, mm. right? They never had the intention to build any plant. And let's, let's be clear, the motive behind this whole thing is laudable. I mean, we're trying to reduce mm -hmm. gas flaring yeah, and all of that. Right. Yeah. So yeah, but who would give 
you know, the kind of concession they gave to the company. Well, I mean, I, I did a bit of, I did a bit in their of, country 20 well, the, years. The much, the much I did of law, when I, I did law, yeah. you know, there's such a thing as uh, unfair contract terms yeah. act, yeah. you know, um, OCTA, you know, where if the terms are so lopsided yeah, yeah. you can yeah. actually just say no this 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 contract was not actually a viable contract on the basis of the unfair but also, but also we, need to, we need to also look at the fact that in this case in this particular matter the substance was not about whether they built a plant or not it was a breach of agreement okay right? that we didn't yeah, supply them yes. with the gas yes it was a breach of agreement that you you said but, but the agreement the agreement was very clear yeah you'd give us the feed yeah but we'll you know, build the plant when it goes right? to court yeah they're not they're not looking at the substance, substance. They're looking at what you, your I negligence, yeah, your, what negligence, your, right, your negligence. Right, yes. And also, I, I also think that what infuriated the court in this instance is that the lackadaisical attitude mm, of okay. Nigerian yeah. defense yeah. to put up a defense. Oh, yeah. boy. Because that, that, that 9.6 seems to me to be almost excessive, excessive and arbitrary. Like, yeah. the, like the judge just said, you know what? You maximum. should pay this maximum yeah. for your Punitive. own. Yes. Um, for your own, um, um, sh shall I use the word? Stupidity, yes. right, yeah. right, right, and I think that's yeah. that, that's another issue yeah. because we j just seem to like yeah this is not serious. Mm. Okay, we know it's a scam, but Def therefore we're not going to defend it. It doesn't matter. Apparently, by the month, one million is being yeah. added to that. Yeah, that's right. In that's interest, right. Yeah. which is yeah. astounding. Yeah. But I like the way you started. Anyway, I like the fact that you started by reminding us that we're getting all excited about the FBI list. Right. Uh, you know, crimes in 11, high places. 11, and yet, look at some people million, who are stealing. Nine point six all billion. Those guys are bigger scams. Yes. The whole thing. The whole. The, I mean, I look. I don't want to sound, but. <laughs> Please sound it because <laughs> I, 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 Europeans, I'm happy you Europeans um, have a, a, a you know a richer history, if I can of use that scamming. of scamming, <laughs> um, um, professional, scammer. professional scammers, and mm. as well disguised as as businesses, as uh, no, they have they have more experience than us. Mm. We just. Yeah. I think the whole thing is that because we're more flamboyant. Mm. Small boy, you make uh, $20,000, you go and buy Mercedes, Mercedes. Benz and you, you say, I mean, start making noise. But these guys, they do these things, Thanks, they do these yeah. things. They've been doing these things. Of so, of, they know how to do these things. Yeah. They've set up, they've, accounts, they, so they've built yes. an industry mm. based on, 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 on this kind so, of thing. So, so what do we, I mean, again, because I always say to myself, what do we as individuals do? I know that even the average man on the streets is mm. watching this thing and he knows that his life is somehow tied to this nine Exactly, of course. Exactly. But what do, and we know that these people have been getting away with murder as it were or looting our treasury for years and we can't put our finger on it even though the newspapers are telling us they're going to expose them mm -hmm. let's wait and see but what do we as individuals do do you have any idea what we can do to ensure think, that this conversation so conversations yeah. such as this awareness and awareness know, and highlighting it yeah. and putting pressure on the government agencies especially the efcc and all the agencies of government and it's not just a, it's not just a question of criminal investigation now mm -hmm. i think that even a national uh, office of national security advisor should be should be involved in this because this is a, this is national a, yes, security. This is a absolutely. question of national security. Yeah. If twenty percent of, of your of your of your foreign um, uh, uh, reserves, reserves is going to go into paying somebody in this you, kind of you thing, have to know whether you have to know like, what's uh, everything. Because, yeah, yeah. If, if, but even the matter you raised, you know, on an individual one on one daily thing, yeah. the matter you raised about people pressuring you to basically step aside so they can loot. I wish we had more whistle blowing on matters like that because these are people who are habitually doing this, and you want to make them afraid of the law in some way. Is that like, why would you not blow the whistle on such people, you, maybe if you... If um, you the, the, the point is that we have a, we have a system in place where, um, depending on who you are, um, and you own, look, Nigeria is still pretty much a, a, a country of, of um, boys club. Right. Even the law bends to politics. Mm. Mm. Let's, let's be real about it. Let's, that's mm -hmm. reality. The law will bend to politics. The mm -hmm. law will bend to who you know and who has authority to do X, Y, to, to, to decide that you're no longer So even if you criminal. report the person, yes, the law may not go course. after them. Yeah, absolutely. So um, one has to, to face that reality and do, in my case, do what I can to stop what I thought I had evidence and I had the authority to stop, to stop. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Because it could also be that I didn't have the authority to stop it. But mm. in this instance, I had the authority to stop it, and I, and I, and I, and I stopped it. it. I blocked it. <laughs> Sometimes you get the feeling that certain events are leading to a watershed moment. Chuka's solution-oriented advocacy is already beginning to sound like music to our ears. After the break. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, 
everything is that wrong. Is, you yeah. can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. no, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a terrible, very, like, very <laughs> terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.